Hi, Freerate family. Welcome to episode three of How to Use Your Traveler Like a Pro. Last week, we talked about how to use the moving cursor function. And this week, we're going to be talking about how to update your firmware. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with firmware updates, the purpose of these updates is to enhance device capabilities and fix any bugs that come up along the way for a smoother user experience. We generally roll out a new firmware update every couple of months or so, and this is how we continue to improve the Traveler and Freeride experience even after launch. To update your firmware, the first thing to do is to ensure that you're logged on to your Postbox account and connected to Wi-Fi. So you can verify this by looking at the bottom status screen here. If you're properly connected to Postbox, your email address should appear right at the bottom here with a solid line on each side. If the lines are broken, you're not connected to Wi-Fi. Once you've made sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi, Traveler will check for new firmware updates every four minutes. If a new one is available, it'll start downloading the next time it goes to sleep. We do this so that the downloading process doesn't interfere with normal operation while writing. If unplugged, the device will check for updates and then go to sleep and start downloading the update automatically. So here I've left my Traveler idle for a couple of minutes and you can see here that it's finished downloading the update. So once your Traveler has finished downloading the update, the screensaver will come up asking you to hold down the power button for five seconds to initiate the update. Before initiating this update, make sure that your device is plugged in. If your device is not plugged in, the update will fail and the system will ask you to try again. So make sure that you plug in your device before initiating the update. To initiate the update, we're gonna hold the power button for five seconds. and the device will reboot into the installation process. Please be patient as this can take up to an hour to complete and that's completely normal. Now here my update has finished downloading and once the update is finished, you should be right back to where you left off writing. You can also check your firmware version by pressing the new Wi-Fi button here and looking at the top right corner right here, it will tell you which firmware version you're currently running on. And that way it's easy to see if you need a firmware update or if you're already running on the latest firmware. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's episode of how to use Traveler like a pro. We're excited to continue improving the Traveler experience through future updates, and we hope you enjoy the new features on this update. Next week, we'll be talking about how to use the document manager function on your Traveler to navigate through drafts. So be sure to join us next week. If you would like to hear more about how writers like yourself have more than doubled their writing productivity using Traveler and Freewrite, be sure to subscribe below. And don't forget to send in those writing submissions for our Into Focus writing competition. The submission deadline is in a couple of days. The entry fee is zero dollars. So you have zero dollars to lose and you could potentially win a $400 gift card to our free write store. Happy writing and see you next week.